Alrighty, new mission time, huh? Foreign correspondent. We still have some. We have some new stuff in Pox's lab. Some new stuff in the archives. Oh, just Furanagami. I thought we already. Uh, we already saw these. Guess. Guess it didn't mark them. All right, let's uh, let's move forward with some missions. Blue says sup. Hey, Blue. Welcome. Bert Wither Assassination Scare. Safety fears cause American news icon to run to ground, says the news cannot be silenced. After an attempt on the life of Bert Wither, the defiant anchorman made his statement. I don't know why he wanted me dead, but clearly this was an attack on our nation's greatest treasure, the pre free press. I'll continue to bring you the news you need to hear, unafraid, unbowed, and surrounded by round the clock guards who are watching my every move. The news cannot be silenced. But first, a word from our sponsor, Frozen Dinners, delivered straight to the, straight to the icebox. SMCBS is refusing to comment on the security breach, claiming it as committed to the safety of its stars as it is to its quality, family-friendly programming. Federal agents increase security on Lighthouse Peninsula. Okay. So yeah, we discovered the... Uh, put a dent into Majestic's mind control efforts, but they won't stay down for long. However... If we can mm. harness the massive power of television, we could brainwash the whole country. We can easily transmit our signal on normal television frequencies. All we require is a suitable guise, a persona the humans will trust. My research indicates one possibility. A human television presenter called Bert Wither. But he's made himself scarce. Perhaps he got wind of what you did to Sleepy Ernst. Forgive my impertinence, but you are an alien, are you not? How'd you guess? <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> my prayers have been answered! On behalf of all the nations of the Earth, I welcome you to our planet, O oh friend from another world! Gee, thanks. Means a lot. Enough Sounds like he was recorded in a shoebox. We need to find <laughs> Bert Wither. Where is he, pathetic crackpot human? You want Bert Wither? You got him. Follow me. Perfect. What is that? What is? Who else does he voice? His voice is really familiar. The the human, I mean. Please come with me. Follow that crackpot. Never mind that he's crazy. He's our only lead. In my head, it's like a like a. Old Cartoon Network show or something. Stuff here. Nothing special, just my baseball cards, my bottle cap collection, my notes on 11 dimensional super string theory. But don't tell anybody, okay? I guess it is just Richard Horvitz as well. It's still turbo. They've got electric force fields around the perimeter. You can turn them. You better stay low. They have gun turrets around the perimeter. Watch out for the EMP mines. They've got a bunch of those. You can take a human form, can't you? You could get over there and disguise. Boy, do I love Burt Wither. Even though he called me a crackpot in that TV interview, he said lukewarm fusion would never work, but it would if I know it. If only I'd gotten the funny, but I didn't. Thanks to Burt Wither. Bastard. You can have anything you find if you spit on it. Scan me, scan me, scan me. They've got electric force fields around the perimeter. You can turn them off, though. Just shoot the machine. You better stay low. They have gun turrets around the perimeter, too. A whole ton of them on the water side. Watch out! The cook at this diner takes food to Bert Wither. He's the only one who gets past the force field and the guards. If that crackpot scientist is correct, Bert Wither is under heavy guard. And only this cook is allowed near him. Hmm. You should use this cook to reach Bert Wither. The shame of what it. cook? Charlie Parker, how you have corrupted oh, me. Oh, that one. Hmm. There we go. Sure is weird. Bert Wither all holed up in a damp cave. There's got to be a funny story there. 
Just gotta grab that real quick. There is one over there too, but I don't want to stray too far. Man, walking past all those gun turrets scares the crap out of me. Lucky I brought a change of pants. Those stinking guards with their stupid questions. Obviously, I'm there to deliver food to Bert Wither. What the hell else would I be doing there? We need to get in without setting off any alarms. We're gonna do that. Just don't think about the fancy chef who got too close to those EMP mines. Talk about it. Crypto, be very careful. This area appears to be heavily fortified. That Bert Wither guy's gotta be around here somewhere. So sick of that darn impassable force field. How can they have all these fancy gadgets around the perimeter and no decent oven? Who holds someone in an underground base? I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid. Just gotta Tina give them a really wide berth. <laughs> but Wait, what? Yes to a double feature at the drive-in. Ring a ding ding. Oh no. Alright, uh, what do I need to do now to, to get this fixed? Can I just blow those up from over here? No, won't go that far. Cupcake. All right, let's do this. You're going down, little man. All right, so we blew those. There we go. So those are blown up. Let's uh, immediately start trying to escape. Oh, that. All right, so that doesn't work. We have to restart then. So we need to find a way to get there undetected without anyone figuring out who we are. Skip cutscenes. Please come with me. Follow that crackpot. Never mind that he's crazy. He's our only lead. You better stay low. They have watch out for the EMP mines. You can take a human form, can't you? You can get over there in disguise. Only one disguise will do, though. On eleven dimensional super string theory, but don't tell anybody, okay? Scan me, scan me, scan me. All right. Will he know where I am now that he's coming this way? So let's preemptively take out some of this stuff before the mission becomes to do to do this. Okay, we can't go too far then. Don't lose my target. Huh, this is gonna be interesting, trying to figure out how the heck to, Please, to come do with this. Me. Follow that crackpot. Never mind that he's crazy. He's our only lead. Oh, did that one stay exploded? Interesting. That's a benefit. Boy, do I love Burt Wither. Even though he called me a crackpot in that TV interview, he said lukewarm fusion would never work, but it would. Am I? They've got electric force fields around the perimeter. You can. You better stay low. They have gun to Watch out for the EMP mines. You can take a human form, can't you? You can get over there in disguise. Only one disguise will do, though. Scan me, scan me. Boy, do I love Come on, dude. Either. Even though it, they've got right. electric force fields around the perimeter, you, you better stay low. They have gun turrets around the perimeter, too. A whole ton of them on the water side. Watch out for the EMP mines. They've got a bunch of those around the perimeter, too. You can take a human form, can't you? You can get over there in disguise. Boy, do I love Burt Wither. Even though he called me a crackpot in that TV interview, he said lukewarm fusion would never work, but it would, and I know it. If only I'd gotten the funny, but I didn't, thanks to Burt Wither. They've got electric force fields around the perimeter. You can turn them off, though. Just shoot the machine. You better stay low. They have gun turrets around the perimeter, too. 
A whole ton of them on the water side. Watch out for the EMP mines. They've got a bunch of those around the perimeter, too. The All right, so we're going to definitely need to employ some distraction board, tactics, man, I think, when we get up you there. The cook at this diner takes food to Burt Wither. He's the only one who gets past the force field and the guards. If that crackpot scientist is correct, Burt Wither is under heavy guard. And only this cook is allowed near him. There we go. You should use this cook to reach Burt Wither. Man, walking past all those gun turrets scares the crap out of me. Lucky I brought a change of pants. <laughs> those stinking guards with their stupid questions. Obviously, I'm there to deliver food to Burt Wither. What the hell else would I be doing there? Just don't think about the fancy chef who got too close to those EMP mines. Talk about French toast. Good thing old Bert likes his TV. Crypto, be very careful. This area appears to be heavily fortified. That Bert Wither guy's gotta be around here. No. So sick of that darn impassable force field. How can they have all these fancy gadgets around the perimeter and no decent oven? All right. All right, well, look at that. We got them all to move. That's perfect. Who holds someone in an underground base? I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid. Shouldn't have told Midge about this secret underground base, but she said yes to a double feature at the drive-in. Ring a ding ding. All right, uh, what do we want to do? We'll want to do that. And then while he's doing that. Do this, bang. Couldn't Burt Wither heat up his own gosh darn food? That submarine next to his room needs an oven. Then they could stick him and his TV dinner in there. Let's do this. Let's see if we can get it to. Yep. Those paint swatches on the sub at the top of the stairs must be a joke. Unless they want a yellow submarine for target practice. There we go. We did it. Yay! Yeah, this is Carmine, <laughs> the cook. I got a food delivery for Burt Weather. You want to turn off the force field? You know, Carmine, you look like death warmed over. What did I tell you about eating your own cooking? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kid you. Oh, hold on a second. I'll let you in. All right, so a we managed entrance. that. It's just delightful when the monkeys attempt to use their brains. Sure is weird. Burt all righty. All holed up in a damp cave. There's got to be a funny story there. <laughs> I remember this one time at Penemund. Dr. Fritzenberger put molasses in the V2 engine. Where is the Salisbury steak for Mr. Wither? He's starving. Man, is it that hard past all to those find gun it up the, the stairs on the second Lucky floor I a change of the of pants. Dance. Oh boy. We gotta be careful of agents because they might uh they might see through our disguise. There we go. Perfect. Please, don't hurt me. I'll do anything you say. I swear. You bet your ass you will. Come on, Bertie boy. I got a little job for you. <laughs> How are we going to do this part? Kill several, uh, several using explosives. Can do that. Yes. You pick the <laughs>
You're blocking my shot. Get out of the goddamn Roy way. Cone sends his record. Alright. Yeah. Gotta find a way to use explosives to kill them. You're dead, little man! Ripto, what are you doing? Get back in range! Oh boy. This is rough. Look at him, he fit perfectly in the in the thing. Alright. Oh, look at that. Okay, so here's this thing. Oh, did that not count as killing soldiers? That's annoying. Come on, dude. Alright, so we have to kill just a few more soldiers using explosives. We'll have to find some. I guess this is some. Do we need to kill three? We can do that, I guess. It's gonna be too hard. Are there any more? Come on, soldiers. We want to blow you up. Wait, what? That's silly. That was weird. There we go. We killed a bunch of them. Alright, good old Bert. Come on, buddy. Should be fine. Come on, Bert. Ah. Careful. We did it! Yay! <laughs> that was actually hard. It was hard to, to get that done. I think finding getting there undetected was like obviously the most difficult part, but then just making sure there were enough soldiers to explode as well. But hey, we made it. We got it through. I think that was everything. We also picked up a few drones, which is nice. Pew, pew, pew. That'll teach him. There we go. Mission successful. We got all three stars. Nice. Proboscis sensors, butt pressure maximizer, proton magazine cascade immolator. SMCBS uproar. Wither threatens to leave news desk over salary dispute. News anchor Burt Wither has threatened to quit SMCBS unless the station raises his salary to a whopping 20000 Wither's groundbreaking war newsreels first catapulted him into the national spotlight with From the Pacific, a hard-hitting look at the war's impact on the five-star beach resorts of California winning multiple Academy Awards. He reached his apex when he won the coveted award for America's Best Haircut in 1955. Even the U.S. government is involved in the SMCBS negotiations, with black-suited accountants spotted entering SMCBS headquarters through a side entrance. Puckerton Industries started demolishing work for the amusement park on Old Lighthouse site. All right. Do you want a saucer upgrade? Or no. something a little more personal? Hmm. Hmm. We'll upgrade the probe. Uh, let's absolutely change the ion detonator to give us transmog because that is something that would be really great. 
And I think from there, it's just a matter of getting extra stuff. Holopox deck, got Mission 10 done for Onigami. Let's look at these. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Kind of a neat looking mothership. Not too huge of an upgrade, but you can see the uh, the like mesh differences pretty immediately. It's pretty sick. It's fun. All right. Uh, what else is there to do? Do we just need to? Oh wait, this is the this actually is a new mission. In my head, I was looking at this. And I was like, didn't we just do this? Uh, we can do abduction in Armageddon. Uh, we unlock that. Do we want to? Let's just explore the area. Let's see if we can find some more probes, uh, and then do some more of those. Make it? Nope. You. All right. So there's this probe. There's this one. Look at that. Uh, try to find as many as we can just in the immediate area because it's a nice boost on our um, DNA. <laughs> And we can also just like wreck havoc if we want more. Uh, do stuff like. Holy! Because we get twenty five per doing that, and they can uh, they can chain. If we pop one, and then pop her. So doing this in a populated area, really powerful. Because we want to get as many of the upgrades as possible so that we don't fall behind. The upgrade economy so let's just do this for a little bit farm some more makes it easier it makes it easy to get a bunch kind of just feeds into itself we just do this for like 10 minutes we'll be we'll be good that on top of looking for more is this one I think we already did this one this is the race right oh no this is abduction let's uh duct objects let's try this I'm studying the human way of life to discover what drives their tiny cerebral's desire collect everyday artifacts the bigger the better beam them up at once Invaders! Little green pissant! Perfect! You're blocking my shot. Get out of the way! Little green man! Help! Hold! Oh, safe man! No! Perfect! Drop the I can only keep the orbital transporter stationary for a few minutes. Stop shilly-shallying! Creatures! 
This is like genuinely difficult. I'm not sure how we're supposed to get so much. I can only keep the orbital transporter stationary for a few minutes. Stop shilly shallying. I'm not shilly shallying, Crypto. Chill out. Because I can't really pick up many things. Uh, the the telepathy is actually pretty um, limited. This is me picking up pretty much everything I can. Space creatures. Little you wasted half of your time. Out of the way. Sure have. Good work, Crypto. No, I wasted that. All right. Oh, that's not All right. Grab these. Good work, Crypto. I don't even know if at, at the end of all of this I'm gonna even have one star. This is rough. Good work, Crypto. Maybe I'll get like a mass throw ability or something sometime. Excellent work, Crypto. You have the right to get your arse kicked. Don't give me any lip. You can't work. The colossal abductor beam is about to lose its target lock. Is nearly complete. Stop, Crypto! I can't. We got close to three stars there. I don't. Hmm. It's gonna be hard to get all three. We'll have to play like basically perfectly if we want to. I'm not I just like it. All right, let's retry that. Let's see if we can get some more. Man, something mindless like this is like genuinely really peaceful after <laughs> fear and hunger all day. Collect everyday artifacts. The bigger, the better. Beam them up at once. Space man! No, no, no! That is not what I asked for! It's been interesting though playing Fear and Hunger 2. We're enjoying it quite a bit more than than we did the first one. It's a much more polished game, much more interesting game overall. Uh, it's been really solid. It's been surprising us with how much we enjoy it. Suburb! I can only keep the orbital transporter stationary for a few minutes. Stop shilly shallying! Little green! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What else can I pick up and throw? These things. Here's Johnny. Let's try to get everything we can. You're blocking my shot! Get out of the goddamn way! Get out of the way or I'll shoot through you. Bow down before Hold it right me. there. And I just might spare your life. Let's get it on. What are we doing here? How do we do this? What's the best way to do this? Time. Oh, 
crypto. All right. We're doing better this time. Is it genuinely hard to get stuff into the circle when we're like when the it's so hard to see is about to lose its target lock. oh we're so close Good work, crypto. no we got so close but it didn't work I just like a lot. All right, let's give it one more try. I think that we can probably do this. We can probably make it work. I'm studying the human way of life to discover what drives the tiny cerebral's desires. Collect everyday artifacts. The bigger, the better. Beam them up at once. Midget Tommy! Superb! It's amazing how fast this thing moves. It makes it genuinely tough to, like, keep up. Also makes it kind of hard to tell, like, what counts and what doesn't. Why does that always blow up? I don't get it. Good lord! It's an alien! Okay, anything else around here? No. Is there anything I can grab? No. Gotta move quick. No, see, like, why'd that explode? That's not good. Your time is half gone. Sure is. All right, uh, we can probably do this now. Okay. See, like, why isn't this stuff being taken or absorbed? Get out of my way. There we go. I ask for on time delivery. Excellent work, We like we missed a bunch of them randomly because they just like weren't being absorbed. I don't understand what's causing them to not be absorbed. I'm studying the human way of life to discover what drives the tiny cerebrum's desires. Collect everyday artifacts. The bigger, the better. Beam them up at once. See? Why? Why does it do that? Let me... 
Is it because I'm knocking them out by accident with telekinesis? No, fuck. Good lord! It's an alien! Space Invaders! Don't know why that keeps happening. No! Ah. Okay. They want to destroy our whales! Suburb! There's that. Is there anything to grab over here? Say your prayers, scumbag. Little green Martians. Hmm. Holy smokes! Aliens. Right now we start doing this. He says the bigger the better, but it doesn't actually seem to matter very much. Good work, Crypto! Space Invaders! Spacemen! Good work, Crypto! Hey. Suburb! Good work, Crypto! Space Invaders! I received half of the delivery. That's half, apparently. How did I get so close that first time and not get it? Ah, it's so confusing. There's got to be like a secret. I mean, I got to focus on getting big things, right? Tiny cerebrum's designs. Collect everyday artifacts. The bigger, the better. Beam them up at once. Yep, that sucks. So that's like a huge loss of like DPS. For some reason we can't grab those. One. Ew, what else can we grab? What can we grab? We're under attack. Move over. Uh, Those explosive barrels will do a lot, which is good. can throw this stuff which is good you talk space alien all right spacemen out of the way Perfect. and as long as we get i think everything it'll be good i've received half of the delivery No, no, no! That is not what 
what I asked for. What is going on? Alright. Is this enough? Good work, Crypto. There we go, we did it! Yeah! <laughs> I knew we'd be able to make it. Oh, okay, that was rough. I like that it says deliver vehicles for more DNA, but like we couldn't, there were no vehicles we can pick up. Did we just do this on hard mode? I just like a lot. There we go, we did it, yay! All right, so I got 1200 DNA from that, that's pretty good. Let's go do the annihilation one. Where was that? Over here. Ouchie, dude, yikes. I think it's just right over here and then we'll be done with the the free roam santa oh, modesta stuff which is pretty nice okay so yeah we're doing we're doing all right we're making some progress i guess destroy everything destroy marked targets for more okay Rip off the masks and reduce this place to rubble. to blow stuff up i think the solution is going to be to destroy just the marked cars again like we did last time but uh doing everything we can to deal with that this is actually kind of tough to to cause that much damage We're not gonna get anywhere close. We, we're not doing this well. Yeah, we really just gotta. Uh, oh, we have to drain the marked targets. That's how that works. Oops, I kept forgetting. I thought we just had to destroy them. <laughs> All right. Time for some up close and personal relationship building in Santa Modesta. So yeah, we just gotta. and reduce this place to rubble. Oh my god. Nice shooting, Crypto.
let's find these marked cars. a quick way pulling up a car and then throwing it and then immediately shooting the building also seems to be pretty good damage wise look at that there we go not bad Gonna be able to make it to three. It's pretty tough. Gotta immediately target these things. There we go. Superb! I guess that gives us a pretty big boost. I don't think we're gonna do it, but. All right, one more try. We should be able to get this one too. Time for some up close and personal relationship building in Santa Modesta. Rip off the masks and reduce okay. this place to rubble. over here, start draining. This whole like throw cars at things plan actually seems to work really well. <laughs> like, it really does accelerate how much damage we do. It's pretty impressive. There we go. And we have three really close to each other here. Do this. Two. Where is it? Where is it? Where'd it go? Here. Three. Trash it! They want to destroy our good work, crypto. We keep getting so close, so close, but not quite there. Time for some up close and personal relationship building in Santa Modesta. Rip off the masks and reduce this place to rubble.
we go. Bad. That sucks. Disintegrate array, not very good, but we'll take it. Here we go. Let's do our best to do as much damage as possible. We should immediately start prioritizing the bigger targets. So close. Just gotta blow some stuff up. How close are we? Come on. Get us there, please. Did we seriously miss it by like one? Oh no. Alright, we can do it this time. Time for some up close and personal relationship building in Santa Modesta. Rip off the masks and reduce this place to rubble. Like, don't even really need to worry about uh, taking damage. Perfect. It's like a non-concern, basically. Good work, Crypto. Good luck. They'll never be able to rebuild. I think I'm behind the curve again. Oh crap! All right. There we go. It's gonna happen this time. It's a little tough. We'll have to get lucky with placement. We might get lucky with placement though. <laughs> That was annoying. <laughs> the Santa Modestins are one step closer to pod people. We did it! Yay. So, Forever Platinum says hello, enjoying the destruction of these lovingly modeled mid 20th century homes. Apollo says, just kind of vibing. Hell yeah. All right, we can unlock a few more things. That's awesome. Return to the mothership. All right, so we, we've gotten all of the the um, Santa Modesta challenges, which is cool. Destroy all humans, little chibi crypto, tasty peats. Looks much better in the remake than in the original. <laughs> oh gosh, I left the stove on. 
and uh, yeah, this one right here is a cool looking diner. This one actually doesn't look changed too much. Logo is a little bit different, and the the sign is a little bit different, but yeah, kind of cool. It was worth it.